Coming out isn't a must. I also think that it's really important to know our entire situation, and sometimes we need to stay closeted for whatever reason. You know, I've never told my parents. I'm like, I'm so out. My, I've never come out to my parents. They love my girlfriend. The day I tell them that she's my girlfriend, do you think they'll love her? Do I need to hurt them? And they've made it very clear that they don't want to know about the stuff in my life that they can change. They don't want to know that my daughters and I wear pants. They don't want to know that my son doesn't <laughs> daven with Minion most of the days. They don't want to know these things. Maybe they, maybe they even really do know, but they yeah. just, but as yeah. long as you don't talk as about it. As long as I don't, exactly. As long as you don't talk about it. It's fine. You know, they, they, they used to think, I should be a therapist or something like someone who helps people. And then, no, you know, that people are important, but the connection between God and people, I think, is so much more powerful, that that's what I want to do. Yeah, I think, I, I think it just made people a bit Orthodox women cannot be rabbis, um, at least not yet. I give it 50 years and they'll be on pulpits, but until then, <laughs> I will, you know, study and figure it out as I move through this process. Peace. Uh, optimism. I love the commitment. Acceptance. That orthodoxy gives us. Courage. I don't like the rigidity. Inclusion. Compassion. And the true art in life is to live within the confines of our commitment and be truly free. And that's Thank you. what I am committed to God, committed to law, and yet the desire to see certain things shift within that. My best friend in, in seminary, um, I fell in love with her. When I danced at my wedding and she came to the wedding and she was dancing with me, I cried. What I didn't know was that I was, like this was my lover I was saying goodbye to, but I, I didn't have words for what I was feeling. When I left my ex-husband, I, I didn't know that I was going to end up here. I think my first and only thought was about survival and about taking care of the kids. feel resentment towards the community um, regarding my sexuality, but I had a lot of resentments to the community for marrying me off without asking me if I wanted that or, or giving me the option that I didn't have to. Nobody said to me, you know, there's a whole world out there and you can make it on your own. Esther is also the recipient of the Judah Schwartz Memorial Award for Outstanding Midah. It's really sad that many Hasidic communities, that's all we have, is like, how thick are your stockings and how high is your collar, you know, your, your dress and, and how long is your sleeve. And, and we forget about looking at the person and saying, who are you? God made you.